Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about the uh, field calculator which is one of the harder part of uh, Maxwell uh, to learn and uh, I'm going to give you a couple of uh, samples and tutorials in particular um, uh, in the field of like magnetostatic right now to uh, make you familiar with how to work with this and how uh, you can do some operations like uh, complex operations to um, uh, derive parameters that you can't find you cannot find in the in the results or 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 other uh, predefined uh, parameters of Maxwell so now you can do whatever you want and you can find whatever values you want now one of the interesting um, things that you can do is uh, you can find the flux for example where you can't find the flux inside the menus or inside any part of this Maxwell and the only way that you can calculate the flux is to calculate through the um, uh, calculator uh, field calculator and I give the Maxwell uh, engineers um, um, uh, a good reason actually they have a good reason to do that and, um, and the reason is because the flux is something that you have to calculate for every individual surfaces and I don't and they don't know which surface you are interested to see the flux for. So, for this particular design, I'm going to use the core as a uh, surface that I want to look at the flux at it. And I want to show you how to calculate the flux uh, going from the top part, for example, of this core. To do that, first you go to the modeler and make sure that you select list and then create. Um, sorry. First, I have to uh, select. I press F. Just press F key, or you can right-click and select select faces, and uh, and then you can go to the modeler one more time. List, create, and uh, I'm doing something wrong. The list is not showing up here. So actually, what I'm going to do is first on, I want to select the top part. That makes more sense. Then I want to go to the create and then say face list so that will make this face as a listed face so you can find a name for it which is called face list one and then use that to uh, calculate your field so that's what I did select the face go to the modeler and then basically under the list create and then face list. I'm not gonna do it twice because I'm gonna give two names to this face now I go to the field overlay and this time open the calculator there I'm going to clear this calculator and uh, select the B, right? You want to see the magnitude of B. So you do the B and then you say, I want to see the real part of that. So under the complex, I want to make sure that I'm selecting the real. And then um, now I need to know the geometry and then I can do the integral. integral. So first, geometry. I select the geometry. Over the geometry, I go to surface. And now I should be able to see... Um, face list one right there okay so that's your face list one and you press ok on that and then um, you go and say I want to do an integral but this is a vector and that's a face so you need to have an integral um, you have to convert basically it's b dot right the normal of the face so where is the normal of the face uh, so once you select the face, you go and select the normal. So now the face is something that is integratable. So now I can do that. So I have um, dot operation normal of the face by uh, basically uh, the, the real of the B uh, vector. And then um, I'm going to do it an integral here. So that's your integral. Again, I can add this. I'm not going to add it because I want to show you how it looks like. Integral of the face dot real part of the B by the surface and uh, normal of the face. That's how it looks like. And when you do the evaluation, that will give you the flux. There we go. That's your flux, which is 1.145 micro. Uh, what's the... F I forgot the flux. Um... Weber.
I guess it's Weber. Yeah. So that's how much uh, Weber you have. And I can press OK, and that would be your flux density. If you want to save that, by the way, you go roll up and you get your last uh, thing. And you go and say add. And then you can call it flux. Um, actually, I would say core flux. If that makes sense. Core flux. Okay. Or core top flux, whatever. And then um, if I go back here and see the core and copy, then I can do the val, and that's how you get it. It's pretty good. Okay. And if you have any questions, put in the comments. If you have any consultants need or design or premium training, uh, send me an email. At the email is provided here, and it would uh, apply some hourly charge. Uh, but uh, you, know, you can get uh, specific uh, training regarding your own design. Okay. Have a great simulations.